bakasuki.org, light novel, fan translation community. This is a translated and collaborated script. Works belong to their respective copyright holders in their respective countries. Maruma, Volume 1. You are the Mao from today on. Prologue. Listen, Yu-chan. Well, Yu-chan, about your name. When Mama was standing on a street corner in Boston, I was worrying. He's going to be born any minute. What should I do? But then, a super cool fencer in a taxi kindly let me ride with him, and he tried to comfort me, saying, A child that gets through the summer will grow strong, so giving birth in July is a blessing. In the village I grew up in, July is called Yuri. And because he had such a refreshingly sweet smile, I immediately decided to make it your name. So, Yu-chan, even though your papa works at a bank and you're always grumbling about interest rates or good profits, never think that you're named after interest or profits. Right, Yu-chan? You're Yuri because you were born in July. Isn't it cute? Don't you fear mama's love? You're Yuri because you were born in July. Isn't it dreamy? Doesn't it seem like something beautiful straight from a girl's manga? Yuri. Ah, it's wonderful. I feel sparkly. Chapter 1. If that's the case, then why does she use those kanji? Since junior high, when old enemies, some delinquents, would always call me foodie disadvantaged during fights, I've gotten used to eluding abusive language. Say something, Shiba Yuri. Advantageous. Don't you mean Harajuku Fudi? Disadvantageous. I've heard that cliche 50,000 times. By the way, I was born 15 years ago. That's right. My name is Shibuya Yuri, advantageous. Not Yuri, a bunch of village, nor Yuri, gentle pear tree, but Shibuya Yuri, advantageous. The name of my brother, who's five years older than me, is Shibuya Shori, victory. It's written as Shori, victory, and reads as Shori. And even if it looks a little like Katsutoshi to win, same kanji, it's not. With the fresh leaves of May growing thick, I was in the middle of returning home from school on my bicycle. Up until now, I've looked up to a member of the middle school baseball team. But now, I also look up to another senior on the kendo team. So, I was talking about becoming a member of the kendo team just five minutes ago when I rode my bike away from my friend. I was stepping on the pedals, in a good mood, heading through a quiet park near my home when I happened across a serious scene. Collecting money. Well... That's only what the bullies who practice it call it, but it's really plain old mugging. Today, of all days, I knew all three of them, the assailants and the victim, from the same middle school. And the one in the glasses who was being pushed up against the back wall of the bathrooms, Murata Ken, was in the same class as me in the second and third years of middle school. Now wouldn't be a bad time to leave on my bike, especially since no one noticed me. If I passed by quickly, Murata wouldn't even know it was me. It's not like he's really my friend, and I've never really talked to him. Besides, even if I did seem like an ally of justice, no one is looking hopefully or gratefully this way. Ah, uh, I slowly stopped my bike. <sighs> it's no good. My eyes met with Murata Ken's. Oi, what are you doing over there? Perhaps doing something illegal as a group? And so I, Shibuya Yuri, decided to deal with two delinquents. And for what I guess is the 50,000th time, I heard, Well, isn't it Harajuku Furi? All thanks to this small town sense of justice I was born with. Mugging people's a crime, and fighting two on one, unfair by my ethics. We're just collecting money, whatever money's in that guy's wallet. That's legitimately collecting money, right? Please, pull out a map and show me in what country is this legal. With navy blue and gray uniforms, the two high school students who had fair hair and matching contacts could have been said to have no nationality at all. They kicked me in the stomach and pinned me roughly against the mortar wall. Now look, our prey ran off because you were talking too much. Well, you're a banker's son, so shouldn't you know how valuable a customer is? It's true. Oh hell, I was going to save Murata Ken, but then he turned around and ran away at full speed. But I'm cute. I'll look around for assistance. But at 4.30 in the afternoon, only grade school students are in the park. Why'd you come save that guy? Are you friends? Or is it a secret crush? Shut up! Ken's my favorite name! Tomu and Ken are my top favorite names. 
Secretly, the teacher whom I admire is named Satomu, and my favorite actor in historical dramas, Matsudaira Ken. Ah, it's your favorite name, Shibuyuri Harajukafuri? When they started laughing, I tried to gain a tactical advantage. I was drawing up my fists and kneeing them when Delinquent A grabbed my hair and pulled me into the dim bathroom. Hey, wait, you! Uh, wasn't this marked as his ladies' bathroom? Is that so? Huh. Well, that's fine. There are a lot more stalls, so we can have our privacy. That's important. That's right! It's for our privacy! We want to keep a secret a secret! Delinquent B matched his tone to his actions and began looking for a wallet from the snatched backpack. The blue strap was cut, causing a mobile phone to tumble out, which began ringing as soon as they hit the wall. What ringtone is this? Have you heard it? No, uh, what is this? It feels like I've heard it somewhere. Oh, I can't remember. Like, someone from television. I guess it's from a historical play? About that. Who makes ringtones from historical plays other than the recent ones by Mito Komon? Moreover, isn't that a professional baseball strap? I don't believe it. Shibuya Yuri, what is this about? Shut up! What do you know about the virtues of baseball? Ah! Hey! You! Delinquent B began pulling out money. It was a pair of Soseki senseis. What is this? You've got to be joking! Are you really a banker, son? Your father must be hesitant to lend you money because you are. But I thought you'd have more than this. He doesn't want to loan you money, Shibu-chan? I am not connected to my parents' business. I didn't think to tell him, but I usually had about 500 yen in my possession. He gives me change steadily, but it's barely enough to use at a vending machine, and my savings are gone in a blink of an eye. Ah, uh, uh, think of it as a bank making a special loan to Murata. Two blue bills isn't enough. 20,000 yen at least. 20,000. Suddenly, its grip on my hair strengthened. Currently, there were three light blue doors reserved in the ladies' restroom. I was dragged to the center one and kneed roughly in the back. The toilets didn't look like what I'd been told, and a western-style toilet was in front of me. Hey! No way! You guys aren't delinquents from ten years ago, so... For someone who passed the entrance exams, you're not very quick-witted. So how about we teach you not to have a smart mouth in the future? Surely they won't really dunk my face in the toilet. Even if the guys were junior high school delinquents. It's the year 2000 AD! Who uses such old-fashioned bullying? If you get in our way, should we kill you? Next time, it'll be serious. As I feared, my rivals pushed my head towards the toilet. It seemed like right now, old-fashioned things were back in style. I tried to hold up my neck, but I decided I had about 10 seconds to be prepared. But a toilet? If I thought about a different type of face-washing vessel, the function's the same. The water began to flow over my chin as I was pushed in. I tried to lift my head as a reaction, but the pressure at the back of my head didn't loosen up at all. I gave up, took a deep breath, and stiffened my body. After the toilets were modernized, there wasn't anyone who'd been dunked in the toilets. If that's true, then I should get in the Guinness Book of World Records. In other words, for just a few seconds, if I closed my eyes and held my breath, even if they pushed me in, and even if my head is pulled, huh? Either delinquent A or delinquent B's hands still held me from above as usual, but... Some other force was sucking me in, like there was a black hole in the middle of the toilet. Is this a joke? What hidden bre power brand name toilets have? It must be the ultimate secret of a strong cleaner! I couldn't fight it any longer, and while my head and shoulders and hips were painfully sucked in, I, Shiba Yuyuri, thought with a scream, Is it possible? This is the first time this has ever happened! For the first time ever, a man was flushed down the toilet! Hey, Papa? What is it, Yuri? When we come to Dinsley Land, why do we only go on the Star Tours? What? You don't like the Star Tours, Yuri? It's not that I don't like it. I love it. But I at least already know all the lines the droid that is the pilot has. How many times have we ridden it? That's great, Yuri. So you remember all the lines the pilot droid has? Well then, Yuri, just to make certain that it's correct, Let's ride the Star Tours once more, because someday when you grow up, this will definitely be useful. That was certainly useful. As my vision began to faintly return, I expressed my gratitude to my father after a long time. Even though he probably never predicted that his son would be flushed down a toilet over 10 years ago, riding Star Tours at Disneyland in Tokyo 10 times in rapid succession was certainly useful. 
After whirling down the flushing toilet, the scene I saw in the clear water was just like repeating what I'd seen in my childhood. The droids shouted and then we warped. The light became grainy and the stars were stretched into lines and distorted and then shrunk again into normal stars. My body was extended, distorted, and then shrunk again. Well, not really. I could never really be flushed down a toilet. Besides, my body grew adequately and I was about the size of an average freshman. I stretched out my arms and legs as much as possible and triumphantly became spread eagle. The dirt road didn't go away after a long time, but the sky was nothing but blue. It was the clear blue sky of an area without things like pollution or depletion of the ozone layer with clear air and blue sky. When I tilted my head, I saw green on both sides of the road. At my left hand were woods where the trees grew thick, and at my right was a meadow stretching in the slope with a private house. The house seemed like it was made out of stone, and in the distance, animals could be vaguely seen. Goats or sheep, I guess. Because of those bullies, my face was shoved into a toilet, and I was dragged into a place that didn't seem to be habited, and I instantly panicked. But where was this? The scenery was entirely unlike modern Japan, and I muttered while sitting up. The Alps? Like that girl Heidi, even though I couldn't figure out how I got transported here. As I quietly realized that my uniform was damp, I got a seriously bad feeling. When I thought about this moisture carefully, it might be from the public bathroom. I'd better stop thinking so much. Water's water. There's nothing different about H2O. From the other side of the road, a young lady carrying large luggage was walking. Both of her hands are under a wicker basket, but it falls from both at the same time. The sound of fruits that were too large to be called apples were tumbling up and rose up. Um, I began speaking and take a deep breath. Her eyes are staring in my direction and mine are looking at her too. Some words rose to my head. A cosplayer? The length of the long skirt that seemed to be dragging on the ground, the old-fashioned triangular straps tied at her chin, and those blue eyes and dull blonde hair. A foreigner? But why was a foreigner in a long apron dress that seemed like the Heidi girl of the Alps climbing up a hill carrying luggage? As the girl dropped her basket, she pointed in my direction and began screaming something. Uh, um, excuse me. I I'm really sorry if I surprised you. It's just that I've been dumped at this place. You really don't need to feel like I'll harm you or threaten you. Her voice substituted for a siren, and one by one, people ran out of the stone fairy tale houses, quickly climbing up the slope. There were men and women and children. All the people were the same. Uh, everyone is cosplaying? No, these people definitely weren't modern-day Japanese people. To begin with, all of them were foreigners. If you look at us Japanese, the natural blonde hair, natural brown hair, natural blue eyes, and natural split chin, I could only think that they were a different race. Ten or more people gathered around holding useful farming equipment like plows or hoes or sickles. When the girl kept screaming, I couldn't understand the meaning as I watched her frozen. Wait a minute. Really, please, wait a minute. I was just dumped here. Uh, what's a better word for it? Uh, abandoned. I was just abandoned here. Uh, I, I know. I haven't solved the entire puzzle. My brains and tongue rotated in a state of emergency. The houses didn't look like Japan, and the people were cosplaying. All of the factors came together to me. A theme park? That's right. Foreigners and cosplay, an outlandish town. If this were the type of place used in two-hour suspense dramas, wouldn't it have to be a theme park? Well, that's probably it. I'm stupid for not realizing right away. I was abandoned in a theme park. But even so, where is this? Is there a place in Niigata with a Russian atmosphere? Even if that's true, that's a long way to be abandoned from where I live. Ow! Uh, why is everyone in the Russian village? Wait! Why rocks and things? Ow! Everyone working at the theme park must have been foreigners knowledgeable of Japanese foolishness. Nevertheless, why did they start throwing stones this way while I was frantically explaining? Even if I didn't pay the entrance fee, throwing stones and setting up farming tools, they can be used as deadly weapons, is a bit of an overreaction. Uh, um, my wallet was taken away a little while ago, so I didn't pay the entrance fee, but I'll definitely do it in the future. If someone will lend me a phone, I'll do it by the end of today! The end of today? I'm holding my arms over my head as I avoided the stones and mud, and I pretended not to see the peasants wielding giant fort-looking spades. I thought as I absentmindedly saw an infant begin to weep with a frightened face while looking at me. The infinite blue sky? When I was arguing with the delinquents, wasn't it past four in the afternoon? It's possible to consider that I was unconscious for 15 hours, but 
no one found me during that time, even at theme park security. Furthermore, in May weather, my uniform was still really wet. What in the world happened to me? My head is so full of questions, it felt like it was way to the ground. And even though I'm receiving this unjust stoning, no one's helping me.